Okay, globular or globular proteins, um, think of them as a glob, right? They have compact sphere, spherical circular shapes, okay? And they carry out synthesis, transport, and metabolism in the cells, and they transport and store oxygen in the muscle. So the stru ribbon structure over here represents a tertiary structure of that myoglobin. So remember, proteins become functional at that tertiary level, and some of them stop there, for instance, myoglobin. Then fibrous proteins, they consist of long fiber-like shapes, such as alpha keratins, which make up hair, wool, skin, and nails, and beta keratins, which are in feathers, and they contain large amounts of beta-pleated sheet structures. So the final level, level of proteins is the quaternary structure. And again, not all proteins are going to have a quaternary structure. So the quaternary structure is a combination of two or more protein units, and they consist of um, four polypeptide chains as a subunit, an example, in hemoglobin. Okay, And this is stabilized by the same interactions that are found in the tertiary structure. Okay, so remember, primary and secondary interactions are backbone interactions. Tertiary and quaternary structures, those are going to be sidearm interactions or our group interactions. If we stop at the tertiary level, we're only a single subunit protein, or if we go on to the quaternary structure, we have multiple subunit proteins. For example, in hemoglobin, we have four because each hemoglobin molecule, each heme, sorry, heme group can grab a oxygen, and there are four heme groups in there, therefore we can grab four ho oxygens, I don't know where this oxygen, oxygens um, per molecule of hemoglobin. Okay, so again, your primary is like your pearl necklace. Your secondary, think of your alpha helix, beta pleated sheets. Okay, tertiary is a single subunit. Quaternary is a multiple subunit. Okay, so here is um, your summary table. Primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary with your keywords and um, your study check. Okay, so let's identify the level of protein structure as primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary. quaternary. Pause me and come back. Alrighty, beta pleated sheets, secondary. The order or pearls in the necklace is your primary. Two or more polypeptide chains is your tertiary quaternary. And then the shape of the globular protein would be the tertiary because it's that 3D shape. And then remember the disulfide bonds between the R group, that would be your tertiary level. All right.